Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to some Victoria 2 here. Uh, in the HPM mod, we are playing Russian Empire, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed the campaign up to this point. If you have, please do make sure you show your support, leave a like on the video, uh, subscribe. If you have not already, uh, click that red button below the video, it'll subscribe you. If you ding the bell, it'll actually send you notifications whenever I upload new videos. So if uh, you're enjoying a campaign, you want to keep up to date on it, that is definitely the best way to do it. Uh, also, if you'd like to support me, I do have a Patreon. Patreon support is enormous. It really is what allows me to do what I do. So without Patreon, I would not be able to do what I do. But, uh, you know, none of that is required, of course. It's all just appreciated. So our economy is very slowly trickling up. 37th economy in the world. <laughs> Best military. And uh, prestige is up there. Not quite where I'd like for it to be, but uh, we're working on it. I'm going to let my intellectuals go up to 4% before we switch over to a different state. Um, I think that is appropriate. Right now I need to keep an eye on everything over here because my, my goodness. These guys are just relentless. They are relentless. Let's get 65 before he gets 50. And it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Yep, yeah, he's gonna boost his relationship up as soon as he hits 50 and boom, there you go. Uh, that's my fault. I should have expelled him first. Banned his embassy. Screw you, Auto Man. You are starting to get on my nerves. Moldavia. So I guess this is their rank? I don't actually know. Industrial rank. So when we look at our sphere... There's a decent bit of going on over here. I think it probably would have actually been better for me to work towards sphering uh, a couple of people over here. I could start sphering people over here to try to prevent Prussia from forming Germany. I don't really have a strong opinion on that one way or the other. Hmm. Perhaps it would be good to start sphering Greece. Let's put some points into it. Oh, really? I got discredited instantly? From Greece? Really? Yeah, that's fine with me, I guess. Good job, France. You did a good job on that one. The Caucasian Rebellion again. All right, man. I guess we'll do the same thing we did before, where we just come down here and we siege them down. Last time was Circassia. This time it is the Caucasian Imamate. It's Chechnya, by the way. In the first episode, I was talking about Groshny. Chechnya. Chechnyan uh, War. The first and second Chechnyan Wars. Apologize for my ignorance. I was, uh... Watched a documentary about uh, this this uh, couple that was... Was, um... Kidnapped down there. Very good. Easy enough, right? We have, um... So here's the thing. Is he still allied to... Ottomans are allied to Moldavia. They're a satellite of the Ottoman Empire? Really? Sweden wants an alliance? Why do they keep breaking alliance with me? That's really weird. Uh, prestige, militancy, and consciousness. That sounds wonderful. Am I allied to all these other guys over here? Norway is a... Okay. So let's take a look here. If I wanted to justify... To let's see here. Take a puppet from him. Twelve point five. But that would allow us to take Egypt if we wanted to. That could be pretty good. Um Hmm. Poland has a lot of cores over here. Romania has a lot of cores over here. Is this claims? Okay. Tripoli's got claims over here. So they are still a great power. Cut down to size. What about humiliate? Or like... Release a puppet. Let's just go with the humiliate. 
Because that will justify pretty quickly. Jinkoism helps out a lot. Yes. So let's get our boys down here to the border. And uh, get our army spending up. Admin spending down. We can afford to lose a little bit of money, but not a whole lot, of course. Uh, let's turn our education down just a bit as well. This is fine. And, uh... I am selecting this army. Oh, derp. That would explain why. Get these guys over here. Pull in you guys to port. No reason to get you wiped out. For no reason. Let's pull you guys over here. All hands on deck for this one. This will be a big war. Yeah. Let's have these guys come down here as well. And our war justification is almost half over. Basically, we're just going to beat them up. You know? That, that's kind of it, honestly. There's nothing fancy about it. Uh, another national focus? Or... Let's take a look at his mill tech. Miltech 4, so we actually have better Miltech than him. I suppose let's start working on some railroads. Get our industry up a bit. The Oregon Treaty, huh? Let's keep an eye on this. We actually haven't gotten busted yet. We get zero infamy for this war, which would be pretty cool. All right. Let's declare this war. Does he have any allies I'm worried about? Moldavia, Egypt, Wallachia, and Tunis. Nobody I care about. Let's attack. Call in my allies. Who would join and who would not? United Baltic Provinces is a sub-state. Okay, Denmark will join. So I'm actually not going to... I'm actually not going to call my allies in. But I will call Persia in. I will call Persia in. Get you guys down here. And let's get these guys marching down. Basically, we just need to make sure we're not going to get jumped on. Let's go down to speed four for this. Uh-huh. So Moldavia did not join. Let's actually have you guys come over here. Get these guys out of the war ASAP. Be good to kind of get a carpet siege down over here. Very good. Decent uh, reconnaissance as well. So our siege is going a bit quicker. Having cav in our armies is helpful. Even if they're not great cav, they're still better than no cav, right? So these guys are going to want out pretty quickly. We have jingoism as well, so we can probably get a decent chunk of, uh, you know, reparations or something from this war. Because we can add war goals, right? As soon as the war starts going a little bit more in our favor. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Unfortunate. Broke off that siege by accident. All oh, right, Our satellites get called in no matter what. So we need to keep an eye on this because sometimes the larger powers will uh, intervene. That's a nice looking war right here, though. A little bit of action. We need some action in our lives, right? Who doesn't like a little bit of action? So they have 38 regiments, and I have 100. So, yeah, let's get down here and siege back Varna. Get revenge for Varna. Let's occupy this province here. March you down here. And... I reckon as soon as we siege down Constantinople, he'll be much more willing to peace out. So these guys are a satellite, so it's just free war score. Wallachia went bankrupt. I understand that. So these guys are number six. or number No, I'm number six. I've slid so far. The Ottomans, yeah, they're going down. They actually have mobilized. Yikes. That's not a good look for them. That is not a good look for them at all. All right, so let's get these guys down here on Istanbul. Which I think at this time would still have been called Constantinople, right? I think it was like officially renamed Istanbul after the founding of the Turkish Republic. Uh, I might be wrong on that. I very well probably am wrong. 
Let's have these guys begin moving up. Those guys will be there on the 16th, and we can be there before them. So let's get over there. Let's make sure we got a good defensive general. I'm willing to spend a little bit of... Um, a little bit of... Um, prestige, if it means getting a better general. Let's see here. Yeah, this guy's fine. Actually, I think we need to keep Feodor on there because otherwise the speed wouldn't work for them. Oh, wait. Those guys are actually attacking right there. Well, that's perfect then. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Let's put these guys down here. So this looks like it's pretty bad, but uh, we're going to reinforce and uh, yeah, it's not going to go well for them. Look at the losses. Okay, we're taking very heavy losses for some reason. Yeah, uh, all right. That doesn't make much sense, but that's okay. Apparently we took heavier losses than he did. Reasons, right? Anyways, we've sieged down Constantinople and so... Let's just carpet siege him down over here and let's see how he's feeling. He would not accept a 15% peace deal. Seems appropriate. Need more jingoism. You can probably get that. Let's begin or continue the Carpa Siege. Very good. Keep on sieging them down. Oh, this is awesome. They're literally ignoring my men over here. They have 54 regiments, but they're just letting us siege down his entire capital region. Ugh. Some things never change. This is exactly how it is in EU4 as well. They'll come over here and like siege down a bunch of, take a bunch of attrition in the mountains. These guys will be there. They're attacking me here. Oh, wait, they attacked me here. Ooh, I missed that. Okay. So they took a minus four here for some reason. They will accept humiliation. And I will take that. You take those wins. That was all I wanted in that war. If I had jingoism, I probably would have done a little more with it. But uh, that's okay with me. And we need to eventually sort through our units and kind of figure out what exactly we want them to be. But uh, now, since we start with a decent men amount of men, I'll just take what I can get, you know. I'm not too concerned about... You know, min-maxing each individual unit type and stuff like that. All right. Uh, intellectuals gain consciousness. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? We now have the railroad unlocked. Uh-huh. That's a lot of points. Let's get some farming output. Boost up our GDP, right? Let's turn our army maintenance down just a bit. We'll keep our army spending like 80... Yeah, let's go with like 75%. Turn these guys back all the way up. And, um... Let's turn that down, actually. All right. So let's start encouraging some intellectuals in our other states going up oh my goodness gracious now we're really starting to pump up the uh the education numbers which is really good let's take a look here i neglected these guys for a while there let us ban the embassy of the ottomans ban the embassy of the ottomans who is friendly again imagine that pull you guys down to two each there we go. Acquisition of Dunch Pontignac. France wants access. Who are you at war with, huh? Oh. Really? The French-Prussian War. The Franco-Prussian War, huh? Who are you allied to? Got some friends over here. It might be time. 
to acquire a state from him. Let's uh, let's at least try to get the justification. Bring some men over here. Ooh, it would feel really good to beat up on Prussia early on. Yeah, you can have mill access. I don't mind. Let's see if I can form an alliance with these guys. They will not accept because they have too many allies. Right, I'm allied to the USA. Who's undergoing the civil war right now, actually. Oh, they're, a, they're not currently undergoing it. So let's dissolve our alliance with them and see if we can pick up an alliance with Austria-Hungary. Very good. That's uh, very solid for us because then we can use them to attack Prussia, probably. Does he have a truce with him? He has no truce with him. Turns out they're at war right now anyways. Okay, well. I'm not sure. Does that cancel my justification? I might be able to actually push for it. We'll see. I don't know exactly how that works since we're in the war now. Yeah, a little bit of consciousness is fine. They... Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. What a slaughter that was. Okay, well. House divided. Yeah, I want out of there. Yikes, man. Russia not messing around. All right. Let's get our boys out of there so they're not getting wiped out. And we want to keep a semi-tight front line. They're attacking me and Konigsberg. Either on the second. Okay. And I will reinforce gladly. The Polish Uprising of 1855. Onwards to Poland? Nope. Guess we're going to go to war with Poland now. Will that call all of my allies in, though? Yep. That's fine. So let's call in some of my allies here. I'll call in Persia as well. Why not? Very good. Dude, this is really bad, man. Prussia's men. What's his mil tech looking like? 10. Oh, yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Oh my gosh. We have literally... Oh my gosh. That's pain. That is absolutely pain. Their mil tech is so much better than mine. They actually have more regiments than I do now. Are they mobilized? They are mobilized. So that explains that. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. Back down here, sieging them down. My morale is really low as well. Well, that is completely my fault, being dumb. Completely my fault. That would explain a lot of why I was losing so many men. Let's uh, get some of my men out of there, so we're not taking a ton of attrition. Let's see if I can bait him into a fight here. Alright, yes. This is much better. <laughs> Let's get down here to Warsaw, siege them down. Montenegro, huh? All right, let's take a look here. My sphere is still very much good. Ottomans are no longer a great power. What are you guys? 11 now. Oh, quite the slide after getting beat up on by us. So the two Sicilies is now a uh, great power, which is awesome. So this leaves a bit of a power vacuum here now. I have a truce with these guys. Serbia, I do not have a truce with. Monte I don't really care about Montenegro. I think I'm just going to kind of forget about them for now. Siege back Poland. Yeah, Prussia's over here. Oh, man. Prussia doomstacking a bit. Brunswick wants out? Sure, man. I will peace out any and all of his little allies. 
So where is my here's my question. If I overtake these guys, let me see here. Let's have siege down my Plock. <laughs> my favorite province in EU4 and my favorite province in uh, Vicky 2 as well. The beloved Plock. Yeah, let's get you guys out of there. Very good. Since we're here, we might as well start working on our uh, mill tech. <laughs> Because it seems we are sorely lacking in the military tech department. So yeah, Prussia doesn't stand a chance in this war. Conquest of Congress Poland War. Poland, it ain't gonna work for you, buddy. I'm taking a, a bunch of attrition over here. I uh, can't be bothered by it. White piece, everybody over there. Demand reparations, huh? Hanover is offering me reparations. Sounds good. These guys are offering white peace. Offering white peace. This is awesome. All these random dudes are offering me white peace. Okay. So how's these numbers looking now? 58 regiments? Yeah, Prussia. Not looking too good for you. Bremen wants a white piece, that's fine. So, war is not going well enough for us, so we're gonna have to wait on that a little bit, no big deal. Let's siege down Danzig, or Gdansk, as, the, as you guys like to say, and we have a ton of rebels. Ugh, so stupid. All right, this is fine. Let's have you guys come over here. I'll have this 25 stack, just head around and Wipe out a bunch of the smaller stacks here. There we go. These bigger stacks we'll have to beat up on. France pieced out Prussia by the looks of it. Yes, they did. Prussia has two units now. Two. As in one more than one. That is nutty. Have you guys suppressed rebels over there? Let's have you guys suppress rebels over here. And let's have the other stack head over here. Hamburg wants reparations or wants to give me reparations. That's fine. Oldenburg wants a white piece. That's fine. Serbia wants an alliance. Eh. I'm not super set on the idea here. These guys will still not accept our peace. Not yet, at least. They will soon. He's just province down over here. We're going to have to handle these rebels. Jacobins are the most annoying rebels in, in uh, Victoria. Lubeck was white piece. That's fine. Take a look at this, though. It's uh, getting much easier. A lot less people in the war. Propose a peace with these guys. So am I the war leader now? I am the war leader. Admit hegemony, huh? I cannot add a war goal. So what is my piece? Force another great power to concede your leadership over your common cultural union. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just have to kill off these rebels, man. That's the big one. They can handle a couple of provinces, as long as they don't take my capital. Like, that that's the main thing. As long as they don't occupy my capital. The rest is... Just getting some stuff over with, you know? Alright. You guys would accept that piece. You will now be annexed. Thank you. Uh-huh. How are we doing over here? We are still doing well with our intellectuals. Our, uh... Our uh, brain mana is going up, which is nice. Now, I am a bit curious as to why it's not letting me uh, use my jingoism yet. Oh, hey, there we go. As I say it, I will acquire the state of uh, Ostpoisen, I think. Yes, that is fine. That is going to be expensive. On the, um, 
Bavaria wants out for a white piece. That's fine. It's going to be very expensive for our uh, infamy, but uh, I will say it is worth. So let's have these guys come up here. And we'll have them beat up on these guys over here. Imprison him. Have you guys head over here as well. Handle these rebels. White piece and a reparations. This is nice. We're getting a lot of reparations in this war and I'm not really doing a whole lot. Uh-huh. I didn't mean to do that. I fled from the battle. Oopsies. That was a mistake. I'm fleeing all the way over there too. So we should probably march towards Berlin. And let's march on Berlin here. We got our reconnaissance. Very important. Even has rebels popping over here, which is awesome. Good for us, at least. Okay, these guys can head hang out over here. And I did not mean to get off of Berlin, so let's get back on Berlin. Let's actually have more men head over to Berlin. Now, having these guys just completely destroyed, and it, each you'll see that their uh, industrial score is just going to be just plummeting. Absolutely plummeting. There we go. And where are they at now? They're at 166. You just keep on letting it go down. Austria is in another war. Another a war with France. Hey, I'm gonna hold off on that one, man. I'm gonna hold off on that one. That one doesn't appeal to me. Montenegro wants an alliance. It's a no for me. There's no reason for me to ally you. They're offering me peace. They're offering to acquire East Prussia. We'll see. I would like to add a war goal if at all possible, but it looks like my jingoism... I don't think it'll go up high enough for us to push for another one. So this is fine. I'll just take East Prussia, which gives me this state over here, which is a nice state. Look at that precious good or precious metals or precious metals. Yes. Which basically just means money straight up. And, uh, population is not bad either. Not bad at all. Cool. Well, let's sort these guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. If you did though, please make sure you let me know by uh, showing your support. Leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And uh, if you'd like to support what I do, uh, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description below the video. That's uh, all very useful and very helpful. And then if you want to actually... Um, ooh, we have a truce with them. We might sphere these guys. If you'd like to join my Discord or uh, see what's going on over on Twitter, you can check out those links in the description below as well. I think uh, we're going to be... I don't, I don't know exactly when... Uh, Communism pops up, but now you can see we've jumped all the way back up to number four again, and our industry went up to 15, which is really good. There must be some, uh, must be some production going on over here in uh, East Prussia. Oh, yes, there is, and there's a lot of clerks and craftsmen. That is awesome. Very good. All right. Well, yes, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Ep, J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Draco R. Havis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Dick Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pylant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.